Hi, Dave Wilson here again. Now, if you're just starting out and you're building up a toolkit, probably one of the first things you're going to want to buy are pliers. And if you buy them in a kit or a set of pliers, you're going to save a lot of money. So it's a great way to start your toolkit. So, this, believe it or not, is a set of pliers. So let's take a look at them and see how you can get started with them. Follow me. Well, the first thing you're going to notice is this really funky sort of plastic leatherette case with a zipper all round. So, let's open it up and take a look at what we've got inside it. Uh, one side has got plastic over it. And what we've got here is, let's just tuck that under there, is a full set of parallel pliers. And we've got everything you could ever need as a beginner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out individually, but let's have a look. So we've got spring-loaded flat jaw pliers, we've got nylon jaw, wire cutters, half round for making rings, ring bending pliers. These are wire pliers, these have got gripped serrated jaws and these are small snipe nose ones. So I'm going to take them out individually and we'll have a look at what you can do with them. Okay, well first up we've got the large flat jaw parallel pliers and these are about 140 millimeters, uh, just about five and a half inch. Now, these have got double springs, you can see inside the handles there. Um, Nice and large. I like these personally. I, I like the larger sized handles. And as with all parallel pliers, you can see the jaws come together flat and parallel. Now these are really great for taking kinks out of wire. So great for wire workers or indeed for just holding pieces of flat sheet nice and firm while you work on it because they exert the pressure equally along the jaws. So you'll find that these are going to become your everyday workhorse go-to pliers. These are going to become your hands. So, great pair of pliers there. Now next up we have these nylon jaw pliers. Again they're about the same size, five and a half inches, 140 uh, millimeters or 14 centimeters. Now these are very similar to the other flat jaw pliers, but as you can see these have got a slight nylon sort of padding around them. Uh, you can replace this, if you look around on the internet, you can get replacement jaws for them. They just screw in from the back. And these are really great when you want to work on very soft wire, but you don't want to mark it. So for example you can just squeeze the wire, pull it through, work your way along and that is not going to mark your wire at all. Incidentally these are also great if you make your own earrings when you make the earring hooks if you just squeeze them a few times round the curve it'll help to work on them a little bit make your earrings nice and springy but it won't flatten them I can already feel that now, that's, that's already starting to get tough. So nylon jaw pliers, great for all you wire workers or if you're working with very soft wire, especially craft wire. So again, double spring loaded, 140 millimeters. So nice, very useful. Now third up, these aren't actually pliers, uh, these are wire cutters. Again, these are sprung but in a slightly different way, the spring is in the middle there. Nice and strong, very good definite grip to them. Again, 140 millimetres or five and a half inches. And these are basically just for snipping larger wire. And because of the size, these are quite good for thicker wire or maybe tougher stuff like steel or binding wire or memory wire. Obviously you might have your delicate flush cutters but you don't want to use those on the big tough jobs so a nice good pair of big tough wire cutters there so again gonna come in very very useful they're gonna get used a lot so really nice 
Now, number four, these are the half round pliers. They look the same as the regular flat jaw, but if you look at the ends, you'll see the bottom one is flat, but the top is curved. And um, what you can use these for is these are great for when you're making rings. So, for example, you get your piece of wire, or it could be sheet, D shaped bar, whatever, and you just go along and you keep the curved section on the inside and you see you can get beautifully smooth, smooth curves. And again, because you're using the parallel jaws, you're applying the pressure equally. And so it's not going to damage your metal. It's gonna create beautiful, smooth curves all the way around. Now next up, something a little bit different. Uh, the last two pairs of pliers are a little bit smaller. These are um, about 12 centimeters or 120 millimeters and just over four and a half inch so these are a little bit smaller also these are not spring loaded now I know some people like the spring some people don't like the spring so it's just a matter of taste now these are parallel jawed flat jawed but these are a little bit different these have got serrations now I know normally you wouldn't use serrated grips uh, with precious metal but there is a reason for this it also has a groove running down the middle and basically these are for wire you can put a piece of wire along that groove there and squeeze that and that is absolutely rock tight and if you put that in conjunction with a pair of parallel plies or the nylon ones you can use that for straightening out your wire maybe pulling it through a draw plate something like that twisting wire anything where you need a firm grip Yes, it might mark the end there where you're gripping it, but if you're using a long piece of wire, that's not going to matter too much. So when you do want a really firm, solid grip, you've got a little pair of serrated ones there. So again, very, very useful. Now, lastly, uh, we have the last pair. Again, these are 12 centimetres, 120 millimetres, about four and a half inches. These are the smaller ones. Again, these are unsprung, so these are just natural use them with your fingers and these are what are called snipe nose again from the side the parallel but if you look at them from this end you'll see the taper to a very fine point so these are really good for very fine intricate work making very small adjustments uh, working with little jump rings great for chain mail actually these or maybe squeezing claws on a setting or something like that, closing a tiny jump ring, anything where you need to grip it firmly but you don't want to mark it. So these are really really good for that. So small snipe nose. So again I think you're going to use those all the time, they're going to be really useful. So once again just a quick run round all of them. 140mm ring nose pliers, one side flat one side half round spring loaded 140 mil spring loaded flat nose pliers these are going to be your everyday ones 140 mil double spring loaded flat pliers with nylon inserts you got your 140 mil spring loaded wire cutters and then the two smaller ones the 12 um, 12 centimeter sorry with the serrated jaws and the grooved ones great for wire and the 12 centimeter ones with the snipe nose fine tips six pairs of pliers and your funky plastic wallet i think this is really really great value so if you're just starting out this is a great kit now for all the viewers out there i have to answer the important question you're looking at all these pliers and you're thinking the mom pliers they're not, they are not made by Morn. Um, just to show you here, this is a pair of Morn pliers and this are the parallel pliers from the set. Uh, they're very very similar as you can see, similar construction, um, similar look and feel to them. I would say that the Morn pliers do feel a little more tighter, a little more solid, a little more definite. You can feel the difference with the Morn ones. Visually, uh, they're very similar. The Morn pliers are riveted 
slightly cleaner, slightly better, a little bit more professional job on the riveting. Um, the main difference is in the middle here. Um, the set pliers, they have a flared rivet in the middle. Now, it's early to tell yet, but I'm not sure how long that is going to last, whether that's going to wear out. Whereas the Morn one has a fully formed smooth head rivet there. And the same on the other side. And if I flip them over, again, you'll see the set ones have got the flared rivet. Only time will tell if that's an issue or not. But even so, I think these represent superb value for money. No, they're not Morn. They're not quite as nice and as tight as the Morn, but I think these represent exceptional value. And especially for the student or a beginner or a hobby user, the whole set is just fantastic value. So, check them out. The Cookson set of parallel pliers. Thanks for watching.